I know the title of this video is cringe. Let's nip that in the bud. I'm coming to you now from the future as the man who just edited this vlog to let you know I know it's cringe, right? The sad truth of the matter is though, if you want to be a musician these days, you need to be doing other stuff. Good for you if your band is so big that you make loads of money from just music. Good for you if you just play music for fun and you do it at the weekends. Genuinely happy for you. I don't want a boss, right? I love making podcasts. I love doing all the other things that come with being a musician. I love doing it and it's how I make my money. If you hate watching this, right? I own this apartment. Let's get on with the video. Okay, what's up? Big day for Downbeat. Big day in the HQ, trying to make things a little bit cooler for 2024, trying to elevate the pod. I love podcasts, I watch a lot of podcasts. One thing that I notice on a lot of the bigger ones, a lot of the comedy ones, there's always a little person, isn't there? another person that's not the host, doing the Googling, ideally setting up all the cameras and lights, being moral support. If they've got a personality, good. A little bit of banter back and forth, a little bit of bullying, if I'm honest. Um, and the whole reason I picked this apartment for the podcast was so that that's where the guests sit. This is where I do my work in the morning, but I can flip that round and have a little person, Simon. That's him right there. The editor of the Downbeat already. Mod in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. He's a mod on my Twitch. He's going to be that guy. He's coming right now. We're going to set this studio up so it's ready to roll for an episode that we're recording tomorrow. And I'm going to show you how we do it. Peace. Look at that. He's from inside there. That's where he does the streams. But he's oh here. God. He's here, but he lives inside there. And what he's going to do is actually just live just behind the screen. I'm actually going under the desk. I'm not even getting a chair. Are you tired? Oh, look at him. he's so happy. Such a smiley guy. Right, we've set up the audio. What have we done? I've sat here and done fuck all. Yeah, you've done everything. You're learning though. We've made the background look really nice. Bunch of things. Seth Myers, downbeat vinyl, lights, little ambient lighting. We've set up all the audio. This is now flipped around which should be an easy flip back for when I need to use it. And now we're in Simon's zone, where once we set up the cameras in a minute, this is annoying me. That man there will be sat here. All of the cables have gone secretly behind the wall to the roadcaster, so he's in control of press and record. Fired if he forgets. He's got a switcher here. He's got a monitor there for all the cameras. He's got the Google machine. For googling he's got his own little microphone hi hi there. in fact come here Simon. he's got his headphones on look at that he'll be there be yep he should be relatively hidden from the shot that's about my shot is about there it's a tighter lens oh he's completely hidden until more people subscribe to the patreon and i'm going to get him one of these cameras and then when we have to cut to him and go hey simon who's got the biggest dick in the world and he goes, T -t 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 and you can check him out, checking him out, going, it is uh, a man from, I don't know, let's just make up, it's a man from Wales called David, and it's two foot long. Right, now we've got to set up the video. Fuck me, it's taking a while. Okay, switching to my phone now, because obviously the cameras are being used. This is now the day afterwards. Me and Simon sat here for about three hours. A lot of teething problems, uh, but I think we fixed it. All three cams via HDMI out. When they're not in use, the HDMI cables will simply just get coiled there. Someone messaged me saying, why don't you just leave it set up? Well, this is my living room. It needs to be able to be packed away to a state where I can still live in it and not hate my life and live in clutter. Okay, so all the HDMI cables go around the back. All of the audio goes around the back now that was a problem because we were having interference from the power of all this equipment which was interfering with the stuff also i can recommend that no one buys the apple studio display i thought when i was editing videos and stuff i was doing 
a good thing by getting a really expensive monitor. It makes this noise. Don't know if you can hear that, it's an electric noise. And unless you have every single cable completely isolated from the same circuit breaker as that screen, you hear it down all the microphones. It's a complete waste of money, don't buy one. Uh, so, where are we? So all of these cameras are set up. This is flipped around now from, I have it here when I'm doing office stuff in the daytime. We've changed the background up a little bit. Simon is gonna be here, watching in. He can Google Jonah Falcon is the guy with the biggest dick in the world. He can monitor all the cameras. He can monitor the audio. He can switch cameras so he can check the focus. That light's not gonna be there, that was for me streaming. Camera, camera one. And you can check all the levels and everything on there. We should be good to go. Gotta go pick Chris up from the airport and then we're gonna do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Everything set up in the UK, did three episodes, Simon smashed it, everything looks great, awesome times. Now, on to LA, where I am now. No need for B-roll of being on a plane at the airport, parking, you've seen all that. Like Nashville, booked an Airbnb. Thought, there's a lot of people in LA, let's do it. Got about eight guests. Just before leaving, I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna book, you know, we landed, to, well we landed yesterday, first day today, podcast later, and I thought, you know what? Before I left, I thought, just in case something goes wrong with my bags, just in case, I'll hire a studio for this one episode, because it was really important. They lost the bags. Uh, British Airways, third time in a row. I'm pretty sure it's either something to do with the transfer from Glasgow to London, something's going on there, or actually what I just thought about, my bag is urban camo. Now that is the camouflage they would wear if there was a siege in an airport. It's just like, um, it's like a chameleon, but for horrible spaces that you don't want to be in. So it could just be it gets lost because it's quite literally camouflaged. So we've got this lovely Airbnb, just just designed for a podcast. Just look at that. Two guests on the sofa, nice backlighting. I even got, I made sure, a cuck chair that looks good. Look, even this wall, good podcast setup. Could have changed that around, mixed that around. Good wall behind it. But oh no, I'm just glad that I had the foresight to book a studio for this first one because I'm pretty sure I'll just go there later and I'll just book more with them. It's gonna be a bit of admin, picking everyone, moving everyone, but fuck it, we move. Here we are. The fake living room. Kinda looks like I'm at home. I don't know how it's gonna translate on camera, but I'm pretty happy with that, considering no bags, no Airbnb. Surely that's gotta look good. That's a pretty high def photo of my house. Why do I look so disheveled? Well, the good news is, the podcasts are done. The three at the studio that I decided to book because the bags are missing, they're done. All good. So, just three instead of eight, fine. Couple of issues. Number one, the podcast studio shot two of the episodes in 1080, even though I paid for 4K. And I noticed by the time we did the last one, so that's annoying. Um, also, I don't have the files because I don't think their internet can handle uploading 4K. And I've been emailing them that I've got a hard disk drive and I could just come and put them on a hard disk, no reply. And it is lucky that we didn't get the Airbnb set up for podcasts because there's a power cut today. Power's been off all day. 
just terrible travel luck. The worst travel luck. More travel tomorrow, going to Anaheim to host Tamma's 50th birthday event. 50th anniversary, birthday makes it sound like a, like a little boy. You can't have a little boy at 50, that's someone with an illness. You know, the little old kids, bless them. Uh, yeah, going to Anaheim. Tamma's anniversary event, hosted by the man who barely plays the drums. <laughs> The man who is only on screen talking. Um, and like Dave Lombardo is going to be there. Brian Daler, Abe Cunningham. Got to figure out what I'm going to say to them. Um, can't have a shower. Because there's no power. Uh, see you in Anaheim. <laughs> Arrived in Anaheim. Had a little day just walking around. It's Tamma's 50th anniversary and they're having an event at the House of Blues. It's a venue I've played many times and Tamma have asked me to be the MC for the evening. Not in like a rapping way, just I guess introducing artists, talking a bit about the company. The event is tomorrow, uh, so I've been sat making notes, looking at my notes, and uh, hopefully it doesn't go terribly. It'll be 2,000 people there, and I'm sort of, other than the performers, I'm the only person talking. So hopefully it's good. Nice to be asked, though. They've got a whole big roster of people. This is... I'm treading the line between drummer and guy and entertainer. Hopefully this means that that's paying off getting asked to do something like this. Let me tell you, next time I get asked to do something like this, there's gonna be a zero at the end of the amount of money I get paid. Stay tuned. A lot of good people playing. Hopefully I'm not gonna mess it up. Oh, Geordie boy. Been to the venue, found out what I've got to do. Pretty last minute, considering the event is tonight. Bumped into some people, bumped into Brian Daler, who I've never met before in the elevator. He didn't know what he was doing. I was like, I'm introducing you later. He had no idea. So I told him what he's got to do. The list of people that I have to be on stage chatting to is crazy. Abe Cunningham, Brian Daler, John Tempesta, Mike Portnoy, Charlie Benante, Dave Lombardo. I'm not actually that nervous because really no one else is nervous and i'm like well you gave me what i need to do on day one so you either have too much faith in me or it doesn't really matter that much it's a private event it's house of blues it's two thousand people but it's a private event it's 5 p.m now it starts at seven probably go down there in a minute check my mic and everything i've got my notes i've made notes you want to see my notes there's no teleprompter um i've never done anything with like notes before so i've got my notes quite a lot of notes i've never really held a microphone i've never really held a microphone to be honest with you and had cards so i hope it goes well uh, i didn't bring my vlogging camera down because i didn't want to be punishing so i should have sh I shot some stuff with my phone i'll shoot some more stuff with my phone tonight and then i'll let you know how it went um kind of cool to be trusted with tama drums's 50th anniversary event kind of terrifying Looking forward to hopefully making some new friends. Looking forward to being like, oh yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Will you come on my podcast? Abe Cunningham, Brian Daler. Let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. You might know him, I hope he's ready. You might know him from Brazil's big one, Sepultura. Eloy Casagrande. Charlie, I wanted to bring up something. Anyone a fan of the blast beat? Bit of a delayed reaction there. This man created the blast beat. Well, 
So let me let me clarify this. Back in 1985, when I started playing Tama, the morning after, I am um, pretty hungover. To be honest with you, it was an unbelievable night. Absolutely honoured to be asked to do it. Honoured to be on stage with some of those people. Well, all of those people. Um, couple of like dead air moments which I was worried about. Changeover for Simon Phillips went on too long. Um, so I was stuck up there. Mike Portnoy, John Tempesta. Met Mike before, never met John, but they were like so funny. Uh, I could have done another 10 minutes up there with them. They were really good. How you doing, man? Good. This is Tama House tonight. It's the last day. Let's go to Nam. I've never been. I've got my badge. Shout out Aaron at Evans. Got my badge. Let's go look at some gear. They made Bell Brass beer and it was quite delicious. 10 days, podcasts, hosting the Tamar event, Nam, Nam, Nam? If you say Nam, it sounds a bit like Vietnam. And I think in America that's still a bit of a faux pas. Let's go with Nam. Nam, just inspiring. Saw so many great players at the Tamar thing. Saw so many great players actually at Nam. Bumped into so many people that I've only known online. Really, actually, after that stray two and a half months of touring, I was a little bit burnt out with drums. This was sort of, although I was working, felt like a bit of a vacation, and I'm excited to get back. Get back to playing drums, get back to streaming on Twitch, get back to making videos, get back to putting out podcasts. First one with Chris Turner is either out now or it's coming out on the 31st. Look forward to showing you the rest. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.